what's up? Welcome to Feeling It Fridays, where I share with you some of the songs that I am feeling that make me dance in hopes to expose you to some new artists, some new sounds, maybe a few new record labels, and overall, give you some inspiration for your dance. This first song is titled B.O. by Toto Chiaveta, which is off of his new album Impermanence, which came out on Yoruba Records. This whole album was actually super dope. I was into virtually every single track. Many of the tracks I've practiced to, I've played, uh, he just did an incredible job and deserves a huge congratulations on this body of work that he put together for this album. This particular track I think might just be my staple track and the track why I want to share it with you on this episode of Feeling It Fridays. This song just starts out with a heavy groove. I mean it really gets moving right out the gate with that kick drum thumping with those hats or cymbal rides or whatever they are that are constantly going kind of like on a 16th creates a ton of energy and then you have what is kind of a tease of this song's kind of texture melodic craziness that goes on with this radio blippy bloppy gliding sound which sets off this cool kind of negative space melody so you have this and it's just infectious. You automatically, within the first few seconds of the song, get this organic meets electronic mechanical feel, which are probably the perfect juxtapose for me when it comes to dance music as to what feels good and fuels my dance movement. Immediately as the song progresses, you have this pad that's coming in every other bar that's really like a call and response to this blippity bloppy radio frequency type of glides that are happening and this pad is so warm and so rich and it just gets more vibrant and more apparent to fill in this kind of like I say a call and response type space as the track progresses I love 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 warm sustaining chords or warm sustaining pads and if they can be done where whether it's something that's apparent or is kind of a background energetic feel, if they're there and present and the song still has a lot of energy inside of it, that makes for one of my favorite types of dance tracks. And this pad, with the way it resonates and the warmth that it has sitting in those lower frequencies, it's just my shit. I love it and this pad kills it. The next little piece that really jumps out and just gives me a whole world of groove to where now I'm not only stepping down and grounding myself to that kick drum and that kind of, you know, driving downward groove, but I'm starting to feel like a polyrhythmic, a bit of like a syncopation inside of what is, I guess, a shaker that feels like it's pushing, but maybe falling behind that kick drum, which then at the end of its loop, and uh, before it comes back to the one has this kind of shake off where it leaves and goes on its own little rhythm for just maybe half a bar. And I love it. It's, it's those types of syncopated elements mixed with a couple of the percussive clickety clacks that give this the right amount of surprise and energy that uh, does turn back around and does become rhythmic to where you can decide if you want to stick in the pocket and come down on the one or if you want to be more polyrhythmic and express yourself uh, around some of these other clever sounds and that shake it's not overly bright it's it's it has a nice softness to its brightness and that's one of those things with shakers that sometimes they're so bright that they control everything even when they're way down in the mix but this is just like this nice rounded shake that has so much flavor and i love the loop that is created by this shake it's so dope now before you get to the really obvious kind of driving segment of this song which is this uh it's kind of like a synthetic but kind of percussionistic uh, slamming kind of um, hit. I guess it would be considered a hit where you have this bomb, 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 which leaves again like a lot of the early kind of foreshadowing of the arrangement. It leaves for a call and response type of vibe in the song, which again gives the dance a lot of room to be that call and response should you feel to express yourself in that way. But there's a little bit of texture which is really dope and I point this out because when you listen to the song loud on a big system and you're feeling all these pieces, it drives you, it pushes you, it creates some interesting movement. But if you're chilling back and you're listening and you're kind of 
in your own element, maybe not sharing the space with others and over a loud system, there's these textures of like a humanistic beatbox that are taking place, kind of filling in with a more breathy than a percussive element of a beatbox. So you hear these, bah, 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 bah. I, I don't really know how to describe it other than it's being mouthed and breathed inside of the song. And it's those textures, those nuances that fill a lot of the undertone and they also express who this artist is and what they were doing with the design and the arrangement of this song. It's a really cool touch. I'm always listening for those little things and I'm really, really happy to hear these kind of interesting pieces being put into dance music. As the song begins to unfold and the repetitive nature of kind of those dance grooves starts to become more monotonous, the song does a good job by adding in more what almost feels like it's modulated type of radio frequencies and, and blips and blops to kind of keep things a little interesting amongst kind of taking these almost bridge type of sections where elements are being removed and you have this sweltering rising pad that's coming up and it's it's accompanied by these bright kind of open I'm guessing type of hi-hats or cymbals which then without the downbeat drive you forward as this pad rises up after that bridge that's kind of bringing you up up boom you drop back down into that boom 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 do 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 and I know my beatbox is horrible and you just have to listen to the song to hear what I'm saying, but it's that contrast again that even the arrangement of the song now uh, accompanied with the actual rhythmic programming of the song creates that call and response. So it's call and response inside of the, the groove of the track, then the arrangement has a call which then responds back to the groove of the track and the whole thing just becomes this great journey of call and response call and response and when you have negative space as i would like to call it i guess in a track like this it really opens you up for movement to be able to say okay I know the space is there, I'm gonna create that space with my movement. Or if you just wanna ride that groove, you can stick in it, punch it, land on the one, and dope shit will happen. This gives you a good blend because of those thick pads, because of those gliding types of synths that do occur, you can skate through beats. You can create smooth movements that pan and that move, but you can also really punch out some of those harder, more edgy beats and create those isolations as a call or as a response. So overall, this track has so much that you can mess with. It has such an interesting texture. And man, when it's dropped with a lot of sound, with a, a system that can give you that kind of sound pressure, yo, you can feel it in your bones. It's just dope. So check it out. B.O. by Toto Chiavetta off his Impermanence album. I love this song. Congratulations on making a super cut. I'm dancing to it. And if you're feeling these videos like I'm feeling these songs, like the video, drop a comment, subscribe, and more will come at you. I appreciate it. Peace.